Picture this, cities buried so deep that even mountains have crumbled to dust. The Silurian hypothesis suggests Earth may have hosted an advanced civilization long before humans, but how would we even know? Everything we build turns to sand over time. So today, we're searching for the one kind of evidence that could last, microscopic fingerprints in the planet's oldest rocks. The Great Pyramid has lasted 4,500 years, but what happens after 4.5 million? Concrete cracks as water seeps in and rebar rusts. Steel turns to red dust. Plastic breaks into tiny fragments that scatter across oceans and soil. Even our strongest materials don't stand a chance against deep time. Look at any modern city. After just 10,000 years, earthquakes would topple skyscrapers. Rain and wind would grind them to sediment. In subduction zones, entire continents slowly dive underground, recycling everything into molten rock. A coastal city like Miami would first drown, then get buried under layers of ocean mud and sand. Mountains don't last forever either. The Appalachians were once taller than the Himalayas before erosion wore them down. Glaciers act like giant sandpaper, scraping landscapes clean over tens of thousands of years. Even solid rock gets ground to powder if you wait long enough. Yet some things might survive. The pyramids show stone can last millennia in dry climates. But the Silurian hypothesis asks what happens after not thousands, but hundreds of millions of years. At that scale, nearly everything vanishes, except a few odd traces. Tiny, unnatural spikes in rare elements or strange gaps in sediment layers. The real question isn't whether we'd find their cities, but whether we'd recognize their fingerprints in stone. How do you find a civilization that left no buildings or tools? You look for the chemistry. When nuclear bombs explode or reactors run, they leave behind rare isotopes like plutonium-239. These particles stay in soil samples for at least 24,000 years. Even deeper underground, nuclear waste storage like Finland's Onkolo facility could leave radioactive traces that last hundreds of thousands of years. Fossil fuels change the air too. Burning ancient plants shifts the ratio of carbon-12 to carbon-13 atoms. That change gets locked into ice cores and sea sediments. Scientists use this same trick now to measure human pollution over the last century. A long-gone civilization would have left the same pattern, just older. Some chemicals don't exist in nature at all. CFCs from refrigerators or PFAS from non-stick pans take centuries to break down. Find these forever chemicals in ancient rock layers, and you've got proof someone made them. Then there are the metal spheres. Tiny balls of titanium appear in Colorado rock layers from before humans existed. They match industrial particles made in factories today. Similar metal bits show up in deep ocean mud, scattered like they fell from smokestacks long ago. Even nature makes impossible-looking traces sometimes. In Gabon, Africa, uranium deposits ran natural nuclear reactions two billion years ago. The leftovers still sit there, proving nuclear signatures last. So the real challenge isn't finding signs. It's telling old industry from very, very old geology. If every trace on Earth vanishes, where else could we look? The moon holds answers. Its surface hasn't changed much in billions of years. No rain, no wind, no shifting continents, just a thin layer of dust slowly building up. Any structure left there wouldn't weather away. Even footprints from the Apollo mission still sit perfectly preserved in the lunar regolith. Mars offers another option. Wind erodes its surface, but much slower than Earth's processes. Ancient ruins there might lie half buried under sand dunes or encased in ice. Subsurface radar scans already map underground geology. If something artificial existed, those same tools could spot it. Martian caves could protect artifacts the way Earth's caves preserve fossils for millions of years. Beyond our solar system, possibilities expand. Icy moons like Europa have frozen crusts that barely change over time. Titan's thick atmosphere shields its surface from radiation. Both environments could preserve technology far longer than Earth ever could. Even if life ended there eons ago, its leftovers might still sit intact under miles of ice. The irony? To find Earth's possible first civilization, we might need to leave Earth entirely. 
While our planet constantly recycles itself, space keeps things locked in place. The best evidence could be waiting on some cratered plain or dusty canyon undisturbed for ages. We just have to go look. What if we're not the first to build cities or burn fuel? The Silurian hypothesis makes us rethink everything we know about Earth's past. Civilizations don't need to leave pyramids to prove they existed, just subtle chemical marks that outlast continents. Next time you see a rock outcrop or a sediment layer, consider this. It might hold traces we haven't learned to read yet. We're just beginning to search for these clues both here and on other worlds. So here's the real question. When future scientists dig through our own layer in the rocks, what will they find that lasts longer than steel?